Hello and welcome back to the Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I'm Sir Kuponut and in the last episode we finished off the Friendly Monster side quest which means we have accomplished absolutely everything we can do at this point, more or less. Only a couple of things we could actually do but I'm going to leave them to later. And now we're going to be heading to the Shimmering Islands now that we've unlocked the Gate to Terror and hopefully discovering an all new world. Now, just before we go in, there is a couple of things you must know. Once you go through here, lots of shops become unavailable, lots of gear becomes unavailable. I'm going to list in the description all the areas and gear that you need to have got before you go through this island. Now, there's already probably a couple of things you can have actually missed, and if you have, well, that's just too bad. Because there's things that have become unavailable, like, say, after this too, after the, you get the blue nars, it's all sorts of things. It's really annoying that they do stuff like that. But, yeah, that's just something you've got to deal with. Now, what I've done is made a backup save, and I suggest anyone else doing this, you should always keep a backup save before you go through this, because literally when you come back, let's just say, things are going to be very different. So just make sure that you have done everything that I have done, at least. <laughs> and just make yourself a backup save, it can't hurt, and takes on one file nowadays, you're all playing on the PS3 generally. You know, we've got infinite memory card space, so yeah, just, just make sure you've got that backup save, and with that, I believe it's time to enter the Shimmering Island. Oh, look, it actually is shining. How pretty. In we go! I've changed my party around a little bit. I'm going with a very mage heavy party. I haven't used a mage heavy party really at all, except for when I was forced to, but we're going to use it now. Master Zidane, I'm showing abnormal readings. It feels like the ship is getting sucked in. Zidane, it might be dangerous to keep going. Are we going to bust in on the airship? All we know is this thing is the entrance. I heard the people of Estagaza call it the Spirit Road. The path that leads souls to terror. Maybe it's a teleportation gate, like the one in Kuja's hideout. Master's... Uh, Master? No, Mr. Zidane. We're going to get sucked in. What shall I do? What now, Zidane? We may not be able to turn back. See, I mean, this gives you a little hint. You can't turn back. So, yeah, let's keep moving forward. We're going out on deck. What do you mean? If gone, it's right, we can jump into the teleporter. From this height? We'll be fine, considering what we've been through. This is nothing. I mean, that is true. We've been through a lot, and seriously, we've... You know, Eidolons, Clara, boom. Wow. It looks like the Glugstones will triangular. Now, doesn't this remind me of something? Hmm, Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> that lunatic Pandora scene. Oh no, look <laughs> at Rusty. I'm a bird, I'm a plane. He really is, just like in like the first three episodes or whatever we had. Garnet Eiko Steiner. Ah, oh, poor Vivi. And today. Shame we don't see Queen of Freya and Amaran in the cutscene, which is a bit lame in my opinion. But they usually forget these sort of things out. Whoa, what the hell? That was a quick travel. I was expecting a little bit longer to be getting to a new planet. But no, apparently not. Could this be Terra? What's this light? Could it be? Huh? So you finally came. The time has come at last. Something, something. Who the heck are you? That skipped automatically. Ask my name, will you? Then let us ask. What is your name? What is your name? I mean, my name is... Hey, what's your problem? I'm trying to tell you my name. So you believe a given name has meaning? Boy, you have been bewitched by the light of the blue moon. What do you know? You must be from Terra. You know nothing, and that is all. Come! see for yourself. See what terror is and what you are. Hey, hey, hang on! He's gone. Zidane? Let me just say right now, this is probably one of my favorite. I, I know I say that pretty much at every track, but this track especially is so underrated, mainly because you only hear it now, really. I mean, it's just so mysterious and it's just brilliant. Garnet, are you alright? Yes, everyone's fine. Come, let's hurry. That's our party we're going with, Mage Heavy. 
So yeah, we're now on Terra. This is kind of weird, really. Um, you should kind of protect your characters against darkness, silence, sleep, and bur give them bird and devil killers. Because lots of enemies here are weak to this. Let's try to jump off this platform. Oh, it doesn't let me. This just place is so weird. Terra. So, we've left Gaia and arrived on Terra. What the? Hey! That person looked awfully familiar. Familiar in a sense that they look exactly like Sedane. Oh, so it must look like a pond. So look, the water's all still. Get a free coronet there. It's weird, the water's just completely still. Don't like that one bit. Chest here with a. I believe it should be a. a dragon wrist. Not sure if we've actually found one of them before. It might be a new item. Oh, yes, it is. Shadow damage used by 50%. That's a pretty nice item, if I say so. Um, the reason I'm really going with this party is because I haven't used Vivi in so long. It just feels like forever since we last used him properly. I mean, I know I've had him around me for a while, but he hasn't really been doing much. Garnet, I just want to use her because I love Garnet. <laughs> it's her story, really. And Ico because she's got some stuff to learn. And I probably won't use this party anymore after this. It's probably going to be changed around a bit. Now, there are absolutely tons of new enemies in Terra. So yeah, we've got a lot of battles to get through. And here is our first battle against Movers. They have 7,352 HP, level 32. They'll be to Bird Killer and every form of elemental magic. You still Opal's back, see some tents in them. There's actually three of them. They all have varying... Um... Oops, what am I doing? They have varying levels of HP and things. Let me show you what I mean about this double reflect thing that I've got going on with Eevee here. Let's try a Flare. Let's go over Medine since we haven't used that yet. This is what I mean by flare. Flex times too much. This is probably total overkill, but you know, regardless. Got a Shiva. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty much guaranteed to be capped damage with that, regardless of what you're fighting. If you've got reflect times two equipped, and this is Terra homing, we've saw it once, I believe. But we may as well have another look at it. We've only got one more spell to master with Eevee now. Let's try and meet you Flare's honestly the best magic in the game. Once you get half MP equipped on Eevee, which I haven't yet because I've got Reflect Times 2, I need a couple more magic stones. But once you've got half MP on, it just becomes so MP efficient. And I've got Reflect Null on with Garnet so she can pierce Eevee's Reflect so she's able to actually heal him. Ico can't sadly at the moment. I haven't got. I'm not sure if she can even learn um, Reflect Null. Hmm, I'd have to check that out. Look at that Medine cap damage. To be fair, these guys are easily killable. They sort of have varying damage, all three of them, but they're sort of all sort of combined in a way. It's weird. Oh, fuck, gone. It was virus. When the hell did she be virus? I did not notice that. Perhaps I was looking at something else. I don't know. That's bad. Okay. I've got Guardian Mock equipped on Ico, so she doesn't have to worry about status effects. Which is handy. Okay, let's carry on through Terra. Oh, chest. Gotta love these chests. Should be an elixir, yep. There's that girl again. Huh? Hey, wait up! Jeez, come on. Why does everyone always have to run away from us? Why can't they just greet us nicely and just, you know, wait? What's your problem? Yes, this is my force exactly, Zidane. Okay, here we have some new enemy, Ring Leader, 9,569 HP, level 51, you can learn Magic Hammer from them, they're weak to Wind Killer, Bird Killer and Devil Killer, and you still have Echoes and Vaccines. Echo, Screens and Vaccines from them. Let's show off this Fever ability, deals physical damage to the target. This is based on how many times you've stolen, I don't think I've actually shown off this yet, so I'm just going to do that now. Let's go with her. Here is a girl, Mr. Baby. Let's see how much Fever he does, it'll be interesting to see. 
Because to be honest, I haven't stole nearly as much as I should have in this LP. Five hundred ninety-eight. Oh no, two thousand something. <laughs> that was the poison damage. Oh shit! It's causing reflect, but luckily I'm bouncing the magic back off me anyway, so that's really not much of a problem. Come on, Mega Flare! Bam! It show your stuff. Bam! It's so overrated, though. I mean, I've never really liked him. That much. I mean, he's cool and all that, but I'm, I'm just more of an Alexander Leviathan fan myself. That disappointed me in 10, most of all, more than anything. There was no Leviathan, it's, it's all Rama even, and I like him a lot. And there wasn't Alexander, I mean, they just really cut out all the cool summons. I guess it was cool that they invented new ones, but I mean, if you're going to invent new ones, you really shouldn't have things like Ifrit and Shiva. It's, you know, Ifrit, Shiva and Rama are kind of in a tr trio. You can't have one without the other. This feels wrong. So many levels. Time to die! Let's see how much I reflect times two Blizzard does. Now that's what you call high damage. He's not even weak to that. Good job, Vivi. Because at this point in the game, Vivi starts becoming a little bit more useful again. Now that he's starting to get all his good magic and he's got reflect times two. Ooh, an Ifrit card! Oh my god, that's amazing! We got an Ifrit card! A card we haven't had! I'm just going to check my card inventory just in case I haven't become full up again. Finally, I've got an Ifrit card! Hallelujah! That's actually going to interest me if any of the other mobs here drop cards. I'm not sure if they do. Hmm. It'll be interesting. Where'd she go? I don't know. I think you're supposed to go down here, I believe. She's down there, but you can get another round of battle. Oh, here we have another new enemy. Three in a row now. Hectize. They have 9,567 HP, level 51. You can learn the blue magic roulette from them. They're weak to fire and holy. You can um, steal high potions, vaccines, and Phoenix Pinions from them. And god, a back attack. How? It's a back attack. Yeah. If this is going to put us to sleep, which is. That's retarded. We're not even looking at you. How can you hypnotize us? <sighs> I don't know. Should not be allowed. Let's bounce off Holy off Vivi. Get the Reflect Times 2 boost. I think that works if you you get the boost from anyone's spells. You know, not just Vivi's. Cap damage. To be honest, that probably would have been cap damage regardless. Another vaccine. Good, I could use them. So I'm probably going to run out in this place. There are absolutely tons of them. Tons of them enemies, anyway. Right, I believe you go down here as a treasure chest. Yep, just like I thought. And it should be a uh, remedy. Yes, it's not too good, but there we go. Um, random battle again. I should say one thing I have done is I have synthesized quite a lot of um, garnets. To boost Bamut's power and a lot of Amethyst to boost um, Atomos's power. Now the Amethyst thing will come a little bit later, but uh, definitely get yourself some um, extra garnets and a Mithril racket. Really? Why would you be giving us a Mithril racket? How strange! Not weird people. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Need to go down. Okay, we have a chest here. Should have demon's vest. Don't think we've got a demon's vest before, but I might be wrong. Yep, we've got one before. Oh well. There's that girl again. Who are you? You don't remember anything, do you? Huh? Follow me and you will understand us. And maybe your own heritage as well. Uh oh. Hey, wait, hold on a sec. So that 
Okay, that's the second time an enemy has used roulette and just killed themselves with it. <laughs> and that's the second time they've used it, so every time they've used roulette they've killed themselves, which I just find hilarious. So weird. Oh, it's a girl again. Once you go on, you'll see. Okay. Just looks like a normal bridge to me. Okay. Battling some movers there. Got a mover card from it. Pretty good. Okay, now here is a very hidden item. Like, you might not notice this, but you can actually go around here, not get a random battle. Yay! Half MP mastered on Vivi. Pretty nice. Which means we can change his equipment around a bit now. Now, what I meant to say is you can go through this little hidden tunnel in a clockwise direction and you'll get a very hidden item, which is actually so well hidden that I didn't ever get it until my practice run for this in the game, which was kind of weird, really, that I didn't get it before that. So we've learned that. Let's see what else TV can get. Oh, nothing. <laughs> okay, we've got a 51 with a ribbon. Don't really want to have to give him a ribbon. Let's see if anything else boosts magic more than that. Oh, okay, ribbon it is. I kind of hope I'll be getting Vivi's magic a little bit higher than this by now. But oh well. Right, anyway. Go in a clockwise direction. Right down to this chest here. Very well here then. Contain contains a Minerva's plate. Now I think that I can't equip that. So I'm fairly sure that's for someone else. Oh no, I can. Hmm. It might be for women only. Oh, there it is. Minerva's plate. Plate one by woman, yeah. Not too good. Hello, the location question mark. Right, let's head back up. Start with the battles. Okay, right, let's try and get out of this annoying tunnel. Okay, I'm sort of stuck now. <laughs> Typical. MP plus 20% master, pretty good. And an Ifrit card, we already had one then, we don't need another. Just change Ico's gear around now. Um, where is it? Okay, you can land here though. Feels weird, it can't be everything. No, it's not. Okay, so you can learn full life and half MP from this light robe. Why haven't I given it to her until now? Oh dear. Um, let's give it a clear headed. Guardian Mog. Let's just get half MP. That would be great. Okay. That's great. That's really, really good. That means her shit is so much cheaper now. And more importantly, she now has every spell. So she's got Holy, Jewel, Dispel, and Might, which Garnet doesn't get. And she gets Haste, and Ezra, Full Life, Region. She gets all sorts of great spells that Garnet just doesn't get. But Garnet gets all the better summons, really. Oh, I, I can't figure out how to get out of here. I'm just going to cut and meet you guys back when I eventually get out of here. Okay, I made it, finally. Good. That, that's really good news. I finally got out of there now. Oh, for fuck's sake, this is taking the piss now. Odin Swordmaster for Garnet, nice. That's one good thing about all these random battles, at least I'm getting loads of level ups out of it. <laughs> now, I'm going to end things off here, guys, because in the next episode we are going to be heading in, well, heading further on, just like that mysterious girl told us to, so that we can find out exactly what we're going to do next. Concentrate, hmm, what does that do? I haven't heard of that one. Raises the strength of spells. I think that I'm not. I think that actually has a very specific use. Let me just have a look because I think that's actually something really good. And I don't think it actually just raises the strength of spells. Oh, it says the hit. Um, the healing effect of abilities cure, cure, and cure go increased by half. The healing effects of the abilities life and phoenix is doubled. So yeah, that's a really great thing. It's another thing we could give to Garnet if she was able to equip it. But no, we need a little bit more. Keep loud mouth on in this place anyway, because lots of people cast silence. Okay, so in the next episode, guys, we will be heading up them stairs and finding out what that mysterious girl wanted us to see. So I'll see you guys then on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX.